Hi, I'm Justin from Isotope, and I am here with Full Compass today to show you guys RX6. So today I'm going to go over some of the features within RX6 that weren't in any of the prior versions. We are going to go into D-Russell. That is a really desired feature, followed by the D-Wind module for dialogue noise changes, which is something that hasn't been able to be accomplished in the past. We will go into our Dialog Isolate module. This is an exciting module because it does the work of a denoise module where you would learn the noise profile, except it's for your dialogue profile. And we have the ability to reduce the gain on everything else that isn't that dialogue. And then we'll go into the Debleed module too, where we've developed the ability to take two audio files and have them work off of one another, learning their profiles to eliminate the audio that is bleeding out of the audio that we are working into. So I'll start off with the D. Russell module. We have an interview here with an older fellow from Maine who he was moving around quite a lot and you have that lav mic lined up right on your shirt where you get that kind of rustling on your shirt and you'll be able to clearly hear it, particularly more towards the lower frequency level. But I'm just going to play this out and everything we do today, we're going to do on default settings to show the real power that is within RX-6. So I'm going to run this audio track and we will hear the rustle and then we will just take it right out on default settings. That's my grandfather there. And he started the boat yard in 1888. That's my father over there. So you can definitely hear the issue with the microphone rustle in those mid to low frequencies. Again, this is something that even with our spectral repair module, you would be sitting here for quite some time to get out partially what is existent with these rustle problems. But now we can load the de Russell module and we'll just quickly hit process. We'll notice on the frequency spectrum, on the lower mid frequencies, a bit of a duller coloration showing that we did eliminate something. So there it is, we can see that. And let's do a little before after. That's my grandfather there. And he started the boat yard in 1888. That's my grandfather there, and he started the boat yard in 1888. That's my grandfather there, and he started the boat yard in 1888. So this is all within just default settings. We don't have to do anything initially, and we're going to get that significant reduction in rustle noise. Now from here we can go in case by case for each audio file and change some of the knobs within this, but I like this where it is for now. Maybe I'll revisit it later. The next module I'm gonna go into is our DWIN module. This is probably one of my favorite modules because I really don't see how we could really get rid of this in one smooth movement up until the technology that we have come out with today. But you can see the wind existent in the bass frequencies when you have those wind gusts that go into the diaphragm of a microphone. You're going to get that nasty bass noise and it's something that we have to rescue. We don't always get the chance to redo the take. So let's play this. You'll be able to hear it in the bass range and then we will just quickly take it out again on default settings with D-Wind. Um, I actually really love, so I grew up in New England, um, and it wasn't until I was like much older that I ever went out to the Southwest, and I've never been more surprised by a landscape. But when you're in the Southwest, you could be on an alien planet, from the red rock structures, to the canyons, to the mountains. So it's really evident, both audibly and visually on the spectrogram, that we're having these wind problems. Again, I'm just gonna load this up on default settings and we will quickly process and we'll see these wind gusts disappear on the spectrogram. Okay, cool, so we can see that this is gone now and let's go in and play the after. Um, I actually really love, so I grew up in New England, um, and it wasn't until I was like much older that I ever went out to the Southwest, 
and I've never been more surprised by a landscape. But when you're in the Southwest, you could be on an alien planet from the red rock structures. To the so again, this is something where typically it would take us, if even possible, it would take us a significant amount of time and a lot of strategic manipulation to get the sound that we're looking for here and maybe not even get even close to the result that we have. With the DWIN module just on default settings, we've successfully completely taken out all of these bass frequencies from the wind and really in one move significantly taken care of the problems that existed. So the next piece I'm gonna go into is our Dialogue Isolate module. In this module, I like to see, again, as a reverse denoiser, where in our denoise module with static noise, we're able to learn the profile of the noise in the audio and then reduce it in volume. We learn the profile of the dialogue in the audio and then reduce the volume of anything that we don't see as dialogue audio. So again, I'm going to play this. You're going to notice in this interview, somebody was setting up a video camera in the background and it's really audible that there's a lot of strange movement. You'll be able to hear it and we will take it right out with the dialogue isolate module. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty fair sort of analysis of the way I start with things. Like I like to mess around and like tweak things a little bit and that usually lends itself to some sort of idea for a track. So you can hear these different movements going on. I don't know exactly what was happening, but these aren't standard static noises. This isn't even winds. So we will use the dialogue isolate module. We will load this on default preset and we'll just quickly process. We can see in the spectrogram that we've significantly gotten rid of a lot of the noise around that dialogue area in all of its harmonies. Now, if we play this, we'll notice that significantly reduced. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty fair sort of analysis of the way I start with things. Like I like to mess around and like tweak things a little bit and that usually lends itself to some sort of idea for a track. I'm gonna play this one again before real fast so that you can hear what we got yeah, rid of. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty fair sort of analysis of the way I start with things. Like I like to mess around and like tweak things a little bit and that usually lends itself to some sort of idea for a track. So again, the thing you'll notice with most of our modules and especially the modules within RX-6 is that upon default settings, you can get 80 to 100% of the problem that you're trying to get rid of solved. And then from there, work on a case by case basis to maximize the sound that you're going for for the audio file you're on. The last one I want to show you I'm particularly excited about is D-Bleed. This is a really cool module because it works and it feels kind of like ambience match. We, we are able to take two audio files, say audio file A is the master, the one that we're working on, and audio file B is the culprit where in audio file A you can hear audio file B as bleed. We're going to learn the profile of the file that is causing bleed and therefore when we apply it to the file that we are working on and trying to eliminate bleed from, it's going to recognize on the spectrogram what that spectral layout is and then eliminate it out of the audio file that we're working with. So this is our master audio file. It's a vocal take for a music track. You'll be able to hear the metronome in the background. That's our culprit. If you look into here, we're going to go back to here later. This is our isolated audio file for the metronome. We'll use that later to take the metronome out of this master file. So I'll play this now. The sunrise sheds light on anticipant eyes. We sway to the rhythm, our gaze toward the skies. So if you listen closely, you can hear that, that, that tempoed metronome in the background, and that's something that we don't want to have. So again, even with a module that relies on the audio profile of another file, we're able to just quickly load the D-Bleed module. We can select our bleed source track. For us, it is the focal production click track. And then we learn the profile. Now, the vocal production click track shows up over here showing that we've learned that file's spectral view. We can actually double check that and look at the file over here and we can see that it matches up.
Now we'll just quickly process and we'll be able to take out the metronome on this file. Okay, so now we've run the deep lead module and let's see if we can hear the metronome. The sunrise sheds light on anticipantize. We sway to the rhythm, our gaze toward the skies. So just like that, we're able to take something that is really deeply embedded in the frequencies of this audio file and just pluck it right out, almost with, with a level of ease that's unprecedented prior to this point. So. I'm particularly really excited for the deep lead module, and I think it's gonna be something that's really gonna be helpful moving forward for our audio engineers, both in the music technology and post-production spaces. To learn more about Isotope RX6 or any of our Isotope products, go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass salesperson.